Hi, my name is Charles Molame, and today I'm going to be talking about stage fright. Now, stage fright in itself is when you come, you are someone that can talk very, very well, right? But once you come in the garden of people and you come and say what you know, it looks as if something has zipped your mouth, you cannot talk very well. Now, I want to now teach you in this video how to overcome stage fright. Now, a simple formula. If you want to overcome stage fright, for instance, now, you know, you know what you are going to say before you climb on stage to say it to the congregation you are looking at, right? There are various ways of trying to understand how to overcome stage fright. And sometimes, stage fright varies. You might be able to talk to a number of maybe like 10 persons, then you give it maybe a stage of over 2,000 people. You will not be able to talk. So this stage fright is not something that goes away. With constant practice, you always beat it down to a normal, like, normal size. Let's give, let me give you strategies on how to overcome stage fright. The first one is that know what you want to say. Now if you are going on stage and want to address a certain set of people and you don't know what you are going to say, automatically you have cheated yourself. You are also prone to have stage fright because once you just start looking, maybe you look at the audience, somebody doesn't, you now look at, maybe someone doesn't smile at what you see, you just start getting, you know, afraid. Automatically, what you even knew before, you forget it. So that or on its own already can make you have stage fright. Once you don't know what you want to say, right, it can help you, it can, can get into um, having stage fright. Another one is this. When you are looking at the audience, right, look at those familiar friendly faces. Don't look at those people that have their face squeezed like this. No. Look for those people that are smiling like this in the audience. People you see that be nodding your head. That means they're understanding what you are saying. When you see those categories of people, those are people you should be tilting and looking at. Don't look at people that are squeezing their face because they are persons that you cannot satisfy whatever you say. Look at those persons you know that will be smiling when you are speaking and they are nodding their head. That means they're understanding what you are saying, right? That's another way to um, curb stage fright. A third way to stop um, curb stage fright is this. You should be able to talk slow. Don't talk very fast. If you talk very fast, sometimes you tend to forget what you are going to say. But if you are taking it slowly, every word you are saying, you are understanding it. And as you are understanding it, the way you know people are understanding it is by their not, them nodding their head. That means you also understand what you are saying. In that way, be able to curb stage fright. Just take your words slower. And the last but not the least is write what you want. To, like have this your, a card in your hand, a summary of what you are going to say. Like a call card, something like that. So you just look at the first and say, okay, talk about convocation, right? You just look, you now be able to talk about it. Those are things that just give you summaries, highlights of what you are, outline, like, hmm, simple, an outline, and outline what you are going to be saying, just have it like in five bullet points, okay, first one is that opening prayer, you already know what you are going to say, right, those little bullet points will guide you in way to be able to like present your, your case well, if you like the video, please don't forget to share, um, have a blessed day, thank you.